I'm going to minister to you just a little bit. Amen. And when I turn you loose, amen, we'll go home. Amen. Amen. To say this tonight, I'm glad to be here. I am a little tired, amen, but God's worth it all. Amen. Amen. He's been good to me. He's been good to my family. He's a blessing, amen, in my life. Without him, I have no life. Amen, amen brother. I tell you, amen, I lived a life without him for 29 years. And I found myself at the end of the rope, amen, ready to throw in the towel and yep. give up on my life. And God reached down and picked me up, amen. He filled me with the Holy Ghost. I like it when Brother Lodge last night began to speak about the Holy Ghost. And truly can tell you, Brother Lodge truly believes and having the Holy Ghost. Yes, he does. Uh, I remember times of Brother Lloyd being with uh, the sounds of glory and them going in and anointing the chairs and praying over them, amen. Yep. Believing for a powerful service, believing for God to move and miracles to take place, amen. And you know, I believe he still believes that way, amen. What yeah, about me? Amen. amen. Right. Look with me at Genesis chapter 39. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Joseph and Potiphar's wife. Amen. I'm going to minister to you. Sandra had spoke a little bit the other day about familiar spirits. I want to, I want to minister to you just a little bit about familiar spirits and let you see what happens when you get around those that are ministering through familiar spirits. Amen. Where they're, they're walking in in and after the flesh and the things of this world, amen, are yes. more so important to them, but yet they try to act like they're good, amen. Right, right. That's a familiar spirit, amen. <coughs> Something that tends to be one way, but it's really another way, amen. Yes. Listen to this. And it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast her eyes upon Joseph. So what does that mean? She lusted after Joseph, yep. amen. Oh, she thought he was handsome, amen, if you would. And she said, lie with me. But he refused and said unto his master's wife, Behold, master walk, walketh, and how do you say that, not, and what is with me in the house, and he had committed all that he had to my hand. There is none greater in this house than I, neither has he kept back anything from me but thee, because thou art his wife, and how then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? Amen. I want you to know that Joseph didn't get that insight and that wisdom from not spending time with God. Yeah. And knowing who God is in his life. Amen. He got that way because he had a relationship with God. And he knew what God was doing in his life. He knew the purpose for his life. And he knew what he was supposed to do. And the things that he was not supposed to do. Amen. I'll tell you, amen. He got that from spending time with God. Amen. He got that from having a relationship with God. Any time, amen, that we begin to, to, to neglect, let's put it that way, any time we begin to neglect to spend proper time in the Word or proper time praying and reading and studying and worshiping and lifting up God and doing the things that keeps us spiritually minded. Amen. Anytime we neglect to do those things, amen, we can fall in in place to a familiar spirit because they're all around us. Amen. Wickedness on every side. Yep. Every corner, everywhere you look. Amen. Turn the news media on. You turn your TV on now. You have to be careful at that which you watch. Amen. you got to be yes, careful even though yes. the cartoon your children are watching. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you, these familiar spirits, they, they will entertain you. They'll, they'll uh, lure you. Let's put it that way. Amen. They'll draw you. 
They'll capture you is what they'll Amen. Amen. That's a good word. They'll capture you. Yes, Amen. they will. Place strongholds in your life and keep you from doing that which you should. Amen. But I want you to turn with me real quickly. We're going to turn back here. Read a little bit more uh, on Potiphar's wife. Amen. But let's, let's look over here. I want you to turn with me to 2 Timothy. Amen. I've ministered on this before. But this came to me as I began to talk to a godly woman this past week and was giving advice and, and, and did, didn't understand completely what she was dealing with until after the fact. Amen? Come on, brother. Listen to what this verse says. 2 Timothy 2 and 22. It says, Flee also youthful lust, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace, with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Amen? Yep. She put it to me this way. She said, well, if you are going somewhere, you know there's a, a dog there and he's a mean dog. Then, and you know if you go there and he's going to bite you, then why go there? Amen. I choose not to go there because I don't want to get bit. Right. Yes. But then at the same token, me, being a minister, try to encourage them <coughs> to do what I felt was the right thing was to be family oriented and spend time with your family. Here it is holidays, right? Yep. But every time I get around them, I get beat. Well, you still need to shake that off, do the right thing, and go visit with them anyway. Sure enough, went there and they got beat. Not physically, but spiritually. Yeah, what I said, not physically, but spiritually. <laughs> so what it tells us is that we should shine the very appearance of evil. That's what the word says. Amen. Amen. We yeah. don't go through it. We don't play around with it. We don't have anything to do. We flee from it. Amen. That's what Take it Timothy two and twenty two says is to flee from youthful lust. Yes. But follow what? Righteousness, righteousness, faith, charity, peace, with them that call on the Lord out of a pure, pure heart. heart. Yes. Amen. I don't care who they are or what position they might hold in the church. If they don't walk in God's love and live according to that which the Scriptures say to live, then there's something wrong. Yeah, pretty much. Amen? Yes. None of us are innocent. We all have faults. But after you got bit one or two times, you really learn not to go get bit no more, don't you? <laughs> right? Some of us are hard hit. Or you should. It should, yeah. Unless you get plumb dumb mm. or don't care, right? That's it. Amen. But God wants us to care. He wants us to be blessed and He wants to take care of us. But we've got to choose to do the right thing, right? Amen. The right thing is to put your trust and faith <laughs> in God. Yeah. Amen. Realize that God's given you wisdom and use that wisdom to walk in His what? His righteousness. His righteousness. His peace. His faith, His charity. charity. Right? With a pure heart. Amen. With a pure heart. Amen. How do you keep a pure heart? By not giving place to familiar spirits. Not giving place to seducing thoughts. Things that are entangled by the enemy. Amen. Right? 
Yep. Amen. What did Potiphar do? <clears throat> Potiphar didn't do anything. He gave Joseph right in the kingdom. Yep. With everything except for his wife. Amen. And Joseph knew that that was out of bounds. Amen. Amen. Joseph knew that that was that wasn't his property. That was Potiphar's property. Yep. Amen. Amen. Joseph knew that that was his wife. Yep. But something was wrong with Potiphar's wife because she was working through a familiar spirit. Yep. Amen. She was trying to entice him to do something he shouldn't be doing. Yep. Right? Amen. Tactics of the enemy always come in luring devices, things that you would normally could look at and think that it would be okay or look good, might feel good, right? Yep. Lust of the eyes. Yep. Lust of the flesh. Yep. And the pride of life. Pride of life. We all wrestle with it. We all endure it day in and day out. Yes, we do. But don't give place to it. Flee from it, amen. That's what Joseph did. He didn't give place to it. But even because of that, what took place next? Yeah, he gets told in the place. Jealousy from him. Yeah. yeah. And, and she began to plot up, got a piece of his clothing. Yeah. And lies began to take place over Joseph and got him thrown in prison. Amen. For something he didn't even... Do. Yep. Just because of where he was at. How many have ever been in the wrong place? It's the wrong time. At the wrong time. For the right time, really. Yeah, he was in the right place at the right time, right. but she was really in the wrong yeah. place at the right time. Amen. But anyway, that's how they work. They don't care who they hurt, what trouble it causes, as long as they get their way. Right. Yes. Amen? Yes. Does it matter to them? And we have to be careful as children of God. I know a lot of this may not be ministering to you Come on, tonight brother. as it did to me, but yes. being that I gave bad advice, when I thought I was giving good advice, I learned a lesson. It's good preaching, brother. Yes. I learned a lesson that if God don't tell you to say nothing, you better stay out of it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Open mouth, insert foot, huh? I hear you. <laughs> Amen. And I hear you. Amen. Amen, I hear you. I've been there. Praise the Lord. You know, but it, it taught me something. Amen. And Sandra triggered it when she come up speaking about familiar spirits the other day, and I realized that familiar spirits will even take place in our lives if we give place to them. Yes. Amen? Yes. yes. The Bible says if you lack wisdom, ask yes. of God and He give it to you. Yep. Amen? The Bible also tells us that we're to humble ourselves as little children. I choose to crucify my flesh, especially when I know I'm wrong. Because if I don't, George, I'm liable to do it again. Yeah. I hear you. If you don't expose the enemy, you know what he'll do? He'll hide. Yep. Yeah. He'll set up dormant even in your right. life as a Christian. Like the old booger man. And he'll yeah. hide. Yes, he will. And show Andrew up. Andrew was talking to me the other day about someone that we know and how that she seen uh, the enemy in, in her eyes. And how that she knew that she needed deliverance. She yep. just didn't know how to get her delivered. Amen, brother. Amen. Yep. Have you ever been there? Uh, you know somebody in your home, in your family, that, that's bound with an addiction or some kind of spirit that's in her life and, 
and, and no matter what you do, what you go through, how many times you go through it, it, it con it's a continual thing that happens over and over and over. Yep. People build up walls, you know what they've done? They've given place to familiar. Yes, they have. What, they did, what they're doing, they're keeping themselves from walking in righteousness, faith, charity, peace. Yeah. All those things that only take place through a pure heart. That's right, brother. Amen? Yes. So we need to ask God, ask the Holy Spirit to fill you. Fill your heart, give you that urgency, <coughs> that sense of direction that you'll follow after Him with a pure heart. That He can lead and guide you, that you'll... You'll answer to Him and not to the enemy, amen, that you'll look unto Him for all the answers. Yeah. You won't make haste decisions. I found in business a haste decision is sometimes a bad decision. Yep. So many times I've found myself doing jobs, Brother Cletus, that I'd been better off not to done it to start with. Just trying to make something happen. Potiphar's wife accused Joseph of sleeping with her. Got him thrown in prison. Prison. Yep. God didn't walk away from Joseph. No, sir. God had Joseph back. Amen. Yes, he did. God, God had a plan, didn't he? Amen. Yep. How many know that God has a plan Amen. for your life tonight? Amen. Amen. Yep. Today, amen, that's why you're here, amen. It's because he's got a plan for your life, yep. Sister Diane. And, and God's going to use you as you walk in that righteousness and that faith and that charity and peace and you walk with a pure heart. You know what? God will do miracles in your home and family as we present ourselves holy and without spot and blemish. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, amen, Joseph didn't have to worry about what was going on in his life because he served the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Yes, amen. amen. How many of y'all in your family can say, I know what you're talking about, Brother Derek. If I could do something about it, I would. You know, the greatest thing you can do is, again, what Sandra said last night. Amen. Don't stop praying. Amen. There's power in prayer. Amen. Right. When we put our trust and faith in God, you know what happened? God takes over. Yes, He does. Amen. Sometimes they don't leave except through fasting and praying. Yep. The Bible tells us that. Amen? Yes. Some spirits won't go except through fasting and praying. So, if, if, if you've been praying and you've been witnessing and you've been doing all the right things and they're still there, then you may need to fast. Mm -hmm. And get a little closer to God. And maybe as you get tuned in and that pure heart begins to light up in you, and all of a sudden, something might happen that you've been praying about for a long time. The worst thing you could do is give up. The worst thing you could do is to give in. That's the truth. Amen? Amen. Because that's what giving up is, is giving in. We've got to stand for what's right, no matter what. Yep. No matter who says anything to us, amen? No matter what kind of direction you get, you better follow the Lord. Amen? Yep. God quickens His Spirit in us to lead us and to guide us. And the Bible says not to put your faith in the wisdom of men, but put it in the power of God. Amen? Yep. I want you to know that that's exactly what Joseph done. Yes, he did. He put his faith in the power of God. Yep. Amen? He knew God. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost right now. Yes. I'm telling you, amen, I want to be more like Joseph. Amen? Oh, I don't want to end up in the pen 
penitentiary, amen. I don't want to be in prison, no. I don't want none of those things, Lord. I don't want that, amen. But I want a relationship with Him that's so strong and so powerful that when He breathes, I can feel it. Amen. Amen, brother. Don't you? Yes. I want to be so close to God, amen, in 2014. I want to be so close to God yes. in that when people yes. come through the doors, amen, that God will tell me what they need, amen. Yes. That He'll show me what's going on with them, amen, and how that I can help them, amen, because I can't do anything. But if God tells us what to do, amen, and we do it, God will do it, amen. Yep. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap tonight, amen. I hope you got something. Yes, glory to God. Out of tonight's message, amen. I 